हे गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर एक्चुअली डिस्कस इज अबाउट दी नेसेसिटी ऑफ अ स्ट्रैटेजी वेदर स्ट्रैटेजी इज नीडेड ओनली फॉर प्रॉफिट ओरिएंटेड इंस्टीट्यूशंस और इट इज आल्सो यूजफुल फॉर नॉन प्रॉफिट ओरिएंटेड इंस्टीट्यूशंस सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्ट्रैटेजी इज व्हाट यू वांट टू अचीव समथिंग एंड हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू अचीव इट इट इज अ गेम प्लान राइट सो यू नीड अ गेम प्लान वेदर यू आर रनिंग अ प्रॉफिट ओरिएंटेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और अ एनपीओ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल हैव अ डाउट व्हाट इज अ एनपीओ एनपीओ मींस व्हाट व्हाट टाइप ऑफ अ कंपनी इज कॉल्ड एज एन एनपीओ एनपीओ कंपनीज आर नॉन प्रॉफिट ओरिएंटेड कंपनीज are generally called as those companies which are started not with the motive of making profit but with some other uh, motives what is the motive charitable institutions or trust uh, something uh, some business which you have started not for ma- mainly earning profits but for some other uh, service motive you have started or there is also some governmental institutions because the government institution which uh, tneb no a uh, tamil nadu electricity uh, provider no the tneb was started not to make profits indian railways is not uh, is not having a motive to make profits actually it is actually a service oriented institution so governmental institutions and then this non profit oriented institutions and then these clubs uh, that readers club or book club and there are many clubs trust charitable organizations and governmental organization and certain trust which runs the uh, like what the certain trust which run the medical organizations like hospitals all these organizations no they are not they they did not start the motive to earn profit but what is their motive their motive was, was to uh, uh, give service to the Uh, general public what is our service either medical services or transportation services or free book services free books given to people for reading improving the reading habits or some yoga something like that you have some health club or you have some medicinal organization medical organizations or some indian railways or indian electricity department you have so many government departments medicine adukapra arts club or reading club or you have many organizations which were started not with the aim of making profit so what is the fourth question asking you the question asks you whether strategy is only for profit making institutions or non profit making institutions also see first of all strategy strategy what is it it is a game plan to achieve whatever you want what do you want in in the normal commercial institutions what do you want commercial what is a commercial film what is a commercial film i mean why do you say it is a commercial film it will make money so commercial institutions are those institutions see generally institutions can be divided into two one is commercial and the other one is non commercial commercial and it will make profit its aim is to make profit okay it has to mint profit that's all it has to mint money but this non commercial institutions they are service oriented okay was service motive in the sense charitable organization just like that so now strategy do you want strategy in profit oriented institutions or commercial institution yes you want to make profit no then what are you supposed to do you should really have a game plan to achieve that profit so it is a general perception that profit institutions or profit oriented institution or the commercial institution should have a strategy all the private institutions are having strategy no just like the same way non profit oriented institutions and these uh, i've co- i've told you know uh, governmental institutions hospitals and all that these people also need strategy why in the world do you need strategy in the profit e panna poradilla you're not going to make profit you know you don't even want to make profit you are just a service oriented company why do you want strategy here there is a here there is a tack what is a tacky situation abin keta here you're not making profit but do you really want to proceed giving lots and lots of service oriented uh, activities like you want to give free books or you want to conduct the free yoga classes or you want to give the electricity or you want to run the logistic supply or you want to provide the transportation facility to the indians at a very 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 low cost to do all these things what do you want you want money no who will give you the money for governmental institutions budget will give money there is a central government or the state government will give money to the government departments for uh, readers club or for some golfers club or for some art club for these club who will give the money the share that is the member should uh, co- should contribute some money or some general public will give you some money as donation for orphanage there is an orphanage who will give money general public should donate money no so if orphanage uh, manager tells that uh, i don't want to have a strategy am i going to make profit i don't want strategy at all i can run the orphanage in my own wish will whatever comes on my way i will take up plus on what will happen the orphanage will not be rendered properly why because orphanage has some activity whether it is going to create profit or not that is a secondary issue man he it has an activity what is an activity the activity that has to be performed by the orphanage uh, or old age home is to take care of the old age people or to take care of the kids how will you take care you need some money no who will give you the money 
the general public has to donate you if general public has to donate money to you you should have a proper reputation you should have a strong social standing only if you have a strong social standing only if you have a strong reputation people will put their money into your hands in order to take care of the old age people do you understand so if you want to earn that reputation or if you want to have that influx of money or inflow of money what you should do you should provide a proper and transparent record of see what i've done see what i've planned for the old age home see what i've planned for my hospital see what i've planned for my non profit organization see i'm planning everything see i'm doing everything at the lowest minimum cost and i'm giving the best services to the old age people to the orphan kids okay and to the patients if it is a hospital and to the readers club i'm giving a good quality books if you really want to show your social standing show your reputation show your transparency show your diligence everything you want to show right if you want to show you should really have a strategy because money doesn't come from the sky okay because you are getting the money from as donation or as a budgetary allocation from the government so you need to show to the government or you need to show to the general public okay that you need financial support and you are eligible for the financial support when will people believe that you are eligible when you are really transparent when your motives are genuine and you really have a game plan people will place the trust on you so whether you are commercial institution or non commercial institution you require what strategical operations do you understand this is what uh, this is what is uh, we are going to discuss under this question okay they are going to ask you whether strategy applies for governmental institution for medical institution for trust for charitable organization for orphanage for old age home okay or for any other uh, government organization whether this is applicable or not okay va well, your straight cut answer should be what it is yes we need okay so let's say, see the question just put a pause and read the question now just put a pause and read the question yes have you read so what are the question they are giving you they are giving you that you they have a uh, institution okay they have a medical organization or they have a governmental institutions or they have a club where uh, healthy lifestyle is being preached to all the members and they are giving them the free yoga exercises healthy diet everything is being uh, given okay for this kind of institutions do you need strategies what they are asking you okay let us see the answer first answer edrama netti la edicha mari pattu pattu you should say yes there is a need for strategic management whether it is governmental institution or it is a medical organization whether it has profit oriented or non profit oriented ellarku venum they are asking why okay you need to put a flow chart what is the flow chart organization divided into two one is commercial and the other one is non commercial commercial means what profit oriented profit is the main objective other institutions and the other commercial institutions or non commercial institutions and solranga you may have non profit organization in the meaning meaning when enna it may be government illana it may be educate educational institution or a old age home or a medical organization ipdi venna irukla but it is a trust or charitable organization okay va avangala primary motive enna it is not for profit oriented it is service oriented okay first we are putting this flow chart அதுக்கப்புறம் என்ன பண்ண போறோம்னா why do you want strategic management in the npo இதுல வந்து எதுக்காக why do you want the strategic management கேக்குறாங்க first of all in the everybody has some activities la you really have to take care of the activities once you do the activities okay so solranga efficiently use the resources you must use the resources efficiently point number 2 you must use the resources efficiently point number 3 whenever you do this resources efficiently you will generate a lot of fund resources how do you get the fund donation when will you get donation only when public believe that you are doing a good job when will you do a good job when you properly or efficiently use the resources to take care of the orphan kids uh, automatically people will believe you and they will give you some sufficient resources and sufficient surpluses so you should generate some sufficient surpluses to meet the daily expenses obviously when you daily expenses meet panna the poha you should get some uh, extra surplus unak venum and with this only you can achieve your objective eppadi to give the orphan kids a good life or to give the readers a good book illa uh, na healthy lifestyle to the uh, diet followers or that uh, lifestyle makers in ellarume are going to give it yes so what is uh, what strategy can do there are four points first point some mokka da enna na you can craft a strategy nam aadi kaalathil we are reading that okay what is a strategy strategy or strategy management is nothing but you craft a strategy you implement it okay and then you evaluate it and then you monitor it whether it is working perfectly or not these or uh, these uh, crafting implementation uh, and then evaluation monitoring should be done both in commercial and non commercial institution 
கரெக்டா வை ஷுட் யூ டூ தட் அப்படின்னு கேட்டா பிகாஸ் இ நான் கமர்ஷியல் இன்ஸ்டியூஷன்ஸ்ல வந்து யூ ஹேவ் டு டேக் கேர் ஆஃப் எஃபிஷியன் யூசேஜ் ஆஃப் ரிசோர்சஸ் தேர் பை யூ கிரியேட் சம் சஃபிஷியன் சர்ப்ளஸஸ் எல்லாம் யூ கிரியேட் தேர் பை யூ அச்சீவ் த ஆப்ஜெக்டிவ் என்ன செய்யணும் நினைக்கிற அது செய்ய முடியும் இதெல்லாம் சொல்லியாச்சு அப்போ இப்ப என்ன சொல்றாங்கன்னா ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிக் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இஸ் அ டூல் ஃபார் ஆல் த ஆர்கனைசேஷன் இன் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ராஃபிட் மோட்டிவ் சொல்லியாச்சா நெக்ஸ்ட் கம்மிங் டு ரியாலிட்டி வாட் இஸ் ரியாலிட்டி இன் ரியாலிட்டியில பார்த்தா தேர் ஆர் மெனி ஆர்கனைசேஷன் வெதர் இட்ஸ் லைக் தே ஆர் நாட் அட் ஆல் ப்ராஃபிட் ஓரியன்டட் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் தேர் நான் ப்ராஃபிட் ஓரியன்டட் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் பட் ஸ்டில் தே ரன் த மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் தட் இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் வெரி 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 ஸ்ட்ரிஞ்சென்ட்லி ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பில் கேட்ஸ் ஒரு ஃபவுண்டேஷன் இருக்கு ஓகேவா கேட்ஸ் ஃபவுண்டேஷன் ஆர் சம்திங் லைக் தட் அந்த மாதிரி ஃபவுண்டேஷன் என்ன பண்ணுவாங்க எவ்ரி பெனி they spend with utmost caution and utmost planning apna avanga enna solranga na reality la paatha lots and lots of non profit oriented institutions vand they are using the money more cautiously than the other institution that is than the profit oriented institutions thereby they are increasing their uh, social reputation இது ஏன் அவங்க பண்றாங்கன்னா பிகாஸ் எஸ் வென் யூ யூஸ் அ ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி இன் யுவர் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இட் கிவ்ஸ் யூ ஃபோர் இம்பார்ட்டன் திங்ஸ் என்னது யூ கேன் இன்னோவேட் யூ கேன் மோட்டிவேட் யூ கேன் பி யூ கேன் பிகம் மோர் ப்ரொடக்டிவ் அண்ட் யுவர் ஹியூமன் ரிசோர்ஸ் வில் எஃபிஷியன்லி டெவலப் அப்ப நாலு நாலு குட் பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் பாக்குறாங்க என்னென்ன பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் இட் மோட்டிவேட்ஸ் யூ ஹையர் ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி லெவல் நமக்கு கொடுக்குது அண்ட் தென் And there is a lot of uh, innovation that is happening inside the institution and number four human resource would be skill and it's developing in a very 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 exuberant level so it all me nalum nadakkaradnal most of the non profit oriented institution are using strategy because they benefit in terms of innovation motivation human resource and the productivity and most of these institutions are outperforming the profit oriented institution ஒரு பிரைவேட் ஃபேர்மை விட நாங்கள் சூப்பராக அவுட் பர்ஃபார்ம் பண்ணுறோம் அப்படிங்கிறதுக்கான எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் நிறைய பேர் இருக்காங்க ஸோ ஆப்வியஸாக பார்த்தா என்ன சொல்கிறாங்க ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிக் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ப்ராசஸ் இஸ் பீங் யூஸ்ட் எஃபெக்டிவ்லி பை கவுண்ட்லெஸ் நம்பர் ஆஃப் அவார்ட் நான் ப்ராஃபிட் ஓரியன்டட் இன்ஸ்டியூஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் கவர்மெண்டல் இன்ஸ்டியூஷன்ஸ் பிகாஸ் அண்ட் லாட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அவுட் பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் நமக்கு பண்ண முடியுது பிகாஸ் யூ ஹாவ் ஃபோர் மெயின் பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் என்னென்ன பெனிஃபிட் சொல்கிறாங்க மோட்டிவேஷன் மோட்டிவேஷன் நமக்கு கிடைக்கிது இன்னோவேஷன் இஸ் தேர் அண்ட் தென் யூ ஆர் டூயிங் திங்ஸ் இன் வெரி எஃபிஷியன்ட் மேன் தட் இஸ் ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி இஸ் இன்க்ரீஸிங் அண்ட் நம்பர் ஃபோர் ஹியூமன் ரிசோர்ஸோட ஸ்கில் வந்து சூப்பராக என்ஹான்ஸ் ஆகும் ஓகேவா அண்ட் ஃபைனலி கம்பேர்ட் டு ப்ராஃபிட் ப்ராஃபிட் இன்ஸ்டியூஷனை விட நான் ப்ராஃபிட் இன்ஸ்டியூஷனுக்கும் உனக்கு எதுக்காக ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி வேணும்னா ஒன்லி ஒன் ரீசன் மைண்ட் திஸ் ரெட் கலரில் இதான் ரொம்ப இம்பார்ட்டன் என்னது யூ வாண்ட் ஃபண்டு ஹூ கிவ்ஸ் யூ ஃபண்டு ஐதர் கவர்மெண்ட் கிவ்ஸ் யூ ஃபண்ட் ஃப்ரம் பட்ஜெட்டு ஆர் பப்ளிக் இஸ் கிவிங் யூ த்ரூ டொனேஷன் ஆர் எனி சேரிட்டி தானே வென் யூ வாண்ட் டு கெட் த சேரிட்டி ஆர் டொனேஷன் ஆர் பப்ளிக் ஃபண்டு உனக்கு வேணும்னா யூ ஹாவ் டு பி வெரி 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 காஷியஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு பி ப்ரெசென்டிங் டு தென் சம் ரிக்குவயர் means i want some 40 lakhs to run this year when you ask for 40 lakh rupees you should also support support the uh, requisition letter of 45 lakhs with that of a proper game plan proper strategy what are you going to do with this 45 lakhs and what is the desired result at the end of the day abingiradha you should properly enna solradha adha proper ah vandha emanation irukanum which means that compared to non profit firms uh, profit firms compare panum bodu non profit firms and governmental organization definitely have one three problems irke enna nam mostly irctc irukana there is only one irctc irctc okay indian railways na there is only one indian railways there is no two indian railways to compete with each other and to come out with the uh, end result that who is better than whom no when it comes to governmental organization there is only one indian railways and uh, it is a monopoly and you cannot compare one and two and come out with the best result one best or two best or there's no comparison at all and most of the time enna solranga na these governmental institutions they depends upon the outside financing whether from the government or from the public so when you're depending for the funding from the government or from the public in solmudu you have to be justifying the request that you're making for 45 lakh or 45000 crore do you understand so what are the three uh, peculiar characteristics for this non profit oriented institution mostly they are monopoly like governmental institution maina solla ponu na indian railways is only one indian railways number two whether indian railways is performing better or not nobody can say because there's no performance measurement see for example you have to uh, what is that uh, two companies atel and jio you can compare who performs better because you have two competitors right but when it comes to indian railways there's no performance measurement and finally you need money only from government or from the public when it comes to governmental organization so you better be prepared and justify if you're asking for 1000 crore you have to justify your necessity and for that strategy is a very 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 good operating tool abding are my question okay va this is the question that is going to answer you in a question kekranga npo 
whether they need a strategy or not. Yes, they need a strategy. Okay, this question is very important. Organization can be divided into two. Commercial and non-commercial, commercial or profit oriented, non-commercial, no? it can be a charitable organization or it can be a service oriented organization or governmental organization, they don't, uh, they don't totally uh, co concentrate on profit. Okay, wow. And then they are telling you strategic management as a tool for all organizations is very important because strategy, crafting, crafting, implementing and then you are evaluating and after that monitoring is important for everybody because every institution has to efficiently use their resources and achieve the objectives and they should also make sure that sufficient surpluses is being generated to take care of the objectives okay and uh, in reality there are many npo who outperforms the private firms uh, because they got for in other motivation innovation productivity and uh, hr or high performance majority of npo they are using the strategy as a tool and finally, government organization ke uhatanar, you have some uh, peculiar characteristics. What are the three characteristics I am getting? Na? Number one, monopoly. There is no competitor at all. Number two, performance measure panave Number three, they are depending on the external sources for the funding. So when you want funding from the external sources, you have to be very, 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 very clear and you should have some justifications to ask for 1000 crore. Adhika strategy will definitely help you. Okay, and finally, generally NPO of the end of the one governmental organization, you know, one day, normal medical organization are clown, modern hospitals are clown, or some uh, orphanage are clown, you know, clown, one of the governmental non profit oriented, and for non governmental uh, non profit oriented, both of these companies can use this strategy, is what they are trying to tell you. Do you understand me? The forward integration, backward integration can be done. For example, you are a, you are a hospital, then you can easily buy an ambulance, that's a backward integration. Okay. And uh, you can have, you can open a laboratory center instead of sending the blood samples to an external party, you can have your own lab. So forward integration and backward integration is very important even for the non-profit oriented institution. Okay, but basically this is the crux of fourth question and you have multiple questions like this. See fourth question, same answers will be there for all the other questions. Okay, same to same, everything is same here. Okay, ma? you can give a read to uh, read uh, to all these questions. Okay, but fourth question deals especially with what commercial, non-commercial. Okay, profit oriented, non-profit oriented. Whether strategy is needed for non-profit oriented uh, institutions or not. This is what is the main crux of the question. Okay, I hope you've all understood. I'll send you the document through WhatsApp. If you send a hi to me, definitely make use of the document and definitely prepare well for your examination. Okay, so this is uh, uh, we uh, hereby we come to the end of the fourth question. We have discussed about the necessity of strategic. Uh, operations in the non-profit oriented institutions and in the governmental institutions okay thank you so much have a nice and great day please do share subscribe and comment and please uh, share the video with the friends with your friends who are writing number 22 examination thank you have a nice day bye